Hey everybody, this is Quanah Gamer here and I am back with part 17 in my Let's Replay of Crash Bash. Now last time I was here, I managed to get the relic for Crash Ball without any problems. And after so much struggle, I finally got the gold relic for Polar Panic. Now in this part, today we are going to be going to Pogo Painter and Jungle Bash. Now, Pogo Painter, I'm expecting some struggle to happen here, but hopefully with Jungle Bash, I shouldn't struggle too much on that one. So without further ado, let's head into Pogo Painter and get the gold relic from here. For some reason it always does that, I don't know why, it always takes a while to load up the level there. Let's get myself comfortable here in the good position. Oh, before I do that, just make sure that my uh, face cam is up in quality. There we go. Right, so, basically, once you're into the row against me, the champions, which are Coco, Rillaroo, and Crash. Alright, interesting choice of opponents here. I thought that um, it would have been Dingwoodile. If it were Dingwoodile, then it would have been quite interesting, actually, because we would have had who would be the best out of the good team. Oh. Oh, I can get that one, though. And that one as well. Nice. Okay. This might take me a while because the computer players, they, t they tend to have a lot of missiles. But it's guess best to get the speed boots here to create so many colours and to get that box. Oh, and lo and behold, there's another one. That was quite a lucky find there. And another one. Oh my god. And of course I had to get stuck behind somebody and of course that gave them an opportunity to hit me with a missile. Oh. Okay, that was close. I also thought the Coco would have got me there if I miss out. I'm not really keeping an eye on the scores here, which I really should be keeping an eye out for. I don't know why I'm not. Oh, thank goodness I got those 11 points before I got hit with a miss out. That would have been much worse if I hadn't got those points. Oh, actually, I won that. Yes, good. 10 for the points for that. I keep going in unintentional directions here. Oh, I failed. Yeah, didn't I? By how much? 16 points. Well, that wasn't too bad. Rillaroo won by 16 points, so it could have been a lot worse. Oh, nice. That was very lucky that I got those. Just need to keep an eye out for the computer players here as well with the missiles they've got. Oh my god, okay, I'm getting really lucky with these. Oh no, god damn it, my lucky streaks run out. Barrage of missiles came right at me, one of them got me. Okay, keep an eye on Crash because he's got a missile there. That's what Rillaroo does. Haha, <laughs> got him first though. Wait a minute, who shot Crash? I didn't shoot him. Did Rillaroo shoot him by accident? I'm guessing he did. Okay, I need to focus on getting more points here. Shoot. Alright, go 19 there, that's pretty good. Oh god. Thank goodness. I don't know how the hell I avoided them. Call me lucky, I suppose. Oh, maybe not so lucky for that one, though. That's what's going to be really annoying about these... God damn it, Coco. That's what's going to be so annoying about these... God! Oh! I keep getting hit by so many missiles here. Oh, and again, I failed just by... 11 points. Oh. It's like I'm so close to getting the first win, but I fall just short. So that's offering me some hope at the very least, even though I'm failing. I'm only failing by a little bit, so at least that's a good thing, I suppose. Alright, there we go. Managed to get those two crates from... Alright, good. That's what she gets, Coco, for hitting me out so many missiles. I want that crate there. Yes. Yeah, just look out for... My only advice for this is just to look out for speed shoes and uh, look out for so many crates and arrows. Find missiles if you can as well. Just pick up everything that you can to stop them. Ah, god damn it. Okay, well at least I got the speed shoes anyway. They didn't steal those from me. Oh crap, I should have kept them. That way I would avoid the crash in the missiles. Okay, just keep an eye. Oh! Well, I want that quick. Oh, never mind now. Oh, he was... Oh, wow. That was very lucky. One popped up right in front of me. Oh, shoot. I've lost again, haven't I? Yep, I have. Once again, I'm, it's a minority fail there. I need to... Wow. Really, Crash? Already? Right at the very beginning of this, you hit me with a missile. Bloody hell. All right. It's on there, Crash. You've made this personal. You've made this very personal. I'm going to get you for this.
Well, I think Brilleru ain't just missile the wrong way, because I think he ended up hitting Coco there. Unintentionally. I want those shoes, yes. Yes, yeah, so I can speed away from them. I feel like I'm wanting to turn a certain direction, but it doesn't quite happen. Also, a bit of interesting news, actually. I watched a video from a YouTuber called uh, Canadian Guy Evan, that's who he's called. A Canadian guy. And he talked about some news regarding Crash Wumpa League. And it's been speculated, now I don't know if this is not official as of yet, but it's been speculated that uh, Wumpa League might have been restarted as a Crash Bash uh, remake. And I hope that's true, honestly. And wow, that was very close. Right, I won the first round. Hopefully I can win the second round without too many problems. Okay, that's quite a good... Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. That was lucky. Just going to be very lucky. Finding these... Oh. Well, Crash ended up getting hit twice. The missiles there. That was unlucky for him, but that's sort of payback for what he did to me at the beginning of that first match there. Oh, okay. I'm looking out for Crash here. Because he's got a bloody missile there. Right, hit him. Oh, we both hit each other. Ha! <laughs> Well, that's where you get crash. A little bit of payback there, even though you hit me there. Alright. Come on, I'm wanting to get some shoes here. Ah, those will do. Oh, god damn it, Coco. Fine, fair enough. Uh, I think I've lost this. I think I've lost this. Yeah, I don't think I've won this. Yeah, I think I've won. Oh wait, no. I might still have a chance. Yes, I think I've won. Hopefully. Yes! Okay, that was awesome. How long did that take me? Only seven minutes. Okay, so I had a bit of failures here and there. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Managed to get the gold relic there within seven minutes. And what I'm going to do now is, before I go to Jungle Bash, I'm going to save this right now in case anything happens with the game or anything, so I'm just going to save it right now. You might be wondering why I'm constantly saving these, because what you don't, I don't want the game to crash or the console to unexpectedly turn off in case of any... What the hell? You saw that, right? Why the hell did I end up going in the opposite direction there? Anyway, never mind. Right, time for the easy one, Jungle Bash. I say that and watch me get bombarded by so many crates. Nah, it shouldn't happen. Jungle Bash, I know for a fact, is pretty easy when it comes to the relics. So I shouldn't have too much of a problem with this one. I might get this one on my first try, actually. Depending on my luck. And who are my opponents here? Brio, Dingo Dao, and Kuala Kong. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, Brio and Kuala Kong make sense, but Dingo Dao, why him? Because he's not really that good at this. Oh, and now, yeah, they're all going to start gang out, ganging up on me. The best thing to do in this challenge is to let them try and take each other out while trying to aim for me. As you can see, they're clearly taking each other out. Well, I'm trying to aim for me. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm actually doing pretty badly here. Right. And maybe I'm being a bit too cocky with this. Right, Dingo that was gone. As well as... Oh, okay. Kuala Kong and Ryu are still alive. Which is quite bad. Shoot. Okay. Right, I need to be very careful here. I might die here. And I said I was going to get this on my first try, wasn't I? Well, famous last words there. Remember when I said that? Good times. Be... Oh my god, how am I still alive? Kind of hope they take each other out, actually. Then again, they're both on the evil side, so I wouldn't expect them to take each other out. Oh! Okay, Koala Kong ended up hitting Brio there. Oh crap, right, okay, I failed. Okay, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that. That was a bit embarrassing. Anyway, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Or maybe Space Bash that might be easier than this. Okay, why did Ingo Dao do that? He just jumped on the Nitro. Submarine the champions they are. Yeah, I'm just letting them try and aim for each other. See, look. Qualcomm's like, real, real, get him already. I'm kicking him in frustration. <laughs> Dingo Dao's, yeah, again, you see, I think Dingo Dao might be the weak link out of the opponents here. Ah, god damn it, okay. Right. I'm 
I'm doing a bit better now. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I really should aim my shots carefully. Oh, nice. I got them both at once. Okay, good. At least I won that one that time. Now, the question is, can I win the second one? so far it's not been damaged. Oh, I thought he was- oh, no, he's definitely damaged now. Oh, oh Dingo that was the only one that's not been damaged. That's interesting. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and that's the thing about these Weller Challenges, they all gang up on you. Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay, right, Koala Kong's dead. Right. I'm nearly dead as well. I need to be careful here. I kind of hope that Dingledow takes Brio out. Right, okay, he's gone. Oh, you're kidding? No. Alright, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought Dingledow was going to kill me there, but thankfully I won that. Just to the very last minuscule health I had. Anyway, how long did that take me? 11 minutes. Well, do you know what? Might as well progress on to Warp Room 2 then. I'm going to go and get the uh, relics, uh, well, one of them from Warp Room 2, which will be Beach Ball. Considering I had so much luck in Crash Ball, can that luck continue with Beach Ball? Only one way to find out, I suppose. So, so far this is going much better than the, the first attempts I had at the Gold Relics. So, on to the second warp room. So I'm hoping that uh, Beach Ball will be quite good. So here we go. Like, honestly, I still can't believe that. Like, four minutes it took me to get the, the gold relic for Crash Ball there. For Crash Ball there. Um, you see, I was thinking in my head, if I was going to struggle so much with these challenges, I've got the same opponents uh, again. Um, I was thinking if I struggle so much with these challenges, I was thinking about putting some custom music on to calm, calm my mind down a bit. Like, why did Brio just do that? Summary and the champion he is, letting that in on purpose. This one shouldn't be too difficult, considering the balls... You're able to keep a close eye on the balls. Okay, I had to let one go there because there's no way I'm going to save all of them there. Oh. Okay. I knew the Cortex was going to try something there. Oh. That might be quite bad, actually. I've lost a few already. Oh no! Oh, that might be very bad. I've lost a few now already. Let's use the extra kick for the time being. No! It's a good thing the Tiny is the one of the best characters at this. I had no choice but to let one go there. Oh my god. Right, I'm going to fail this, aren't I? Most likely I'm going to fail. Unless if I get extremely lucky here somehow. Which is probably not going to happen. Yep, didn't think so. God damn it. Oh, well, Koala Kong and I went uh, lost um, at the same time there. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Right. Best thing to do is use the magnet. Once again, Brio is just being stupid. He calls himself an arena champion when he does something like that. I think you need to really train up again, Brio. And Koala Kong is trying to test your reflexes again. <laughs> That's twice he's done that now. Come on, Brio. Where's your head at? I notice that Koala Kong is trying to be sneaky and he's moving about tons. Trying to save the, the balls there. Trying to throw me off guard. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, there was no way I was going to see that one uh, coming along. Right, how do I save that one? I do not know. Oh my god, okay. I think Brio might have improved his game slightly because he is slowly... I thought he was tied up with me in terms of points, but he almost is. Ok, 
Okay, Brio is nearly gone. Yeah, he's out. I thought you would be out. You know, considering how he let all those balls in at the beginning, I'm not surprised he's out first. Perhaps he still was reeling from the loss he suffered in Jungle Bash. Oh, crap. Okay, right. Cortex, you need to let two balls in. Please. For me, let them in. Thank you. That's one. One to go. Please let that one in. We greatly appreciate it. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep doing the extra kick here. Somebody's got to give here. And I won. Yes. Nice one. Yeah, this one isn't too bad. Hopefully I manage to win this next one as well. And if I do, I might have enough time for the Tilt Panic Relic. Just hoping that one doesn't take me an hour. Oh my god, wow. Okay, I'll give Cortex that one. I didn't see that coming. They have improved, he's improved his game. Oh no, they may have all improved their game. That's very bad. Right, okay, I need to really be careful here. Because I think the AI have uh, really, or the computer players have uh, gotten harder here. The only thing that would make this even harder is if they had the intermittent shields, like from the Crystal Challenge. Okay, that was a nice uh, shot there. To oh my god, well that was kind of stupid. Yeah, that was very stupid. I aimed uh, two balls at that corner post that did nothing to help me at all. I was thinking about getting them into Brio and Cortex's uh, goals, but that did nothing to help me. I know what you're trying to do, Qualicong. Okay. Aha! Yep, I knew that was coming. Oh my god! Okay, no, no, no. Oh my god, okay. This is gonna be extremely close. This is gonna be. No! God damn it! Ah, oh, what a shame. Oh, if only I won that my second try, I could have actually made something out of that, but never mind. Ho oh, ho, okay. How did I block? Oh, get them block that one. Son of a bitch. No! This is not good. Okay, the rest of my time on this video might be me getting the gold relic for a uh, for, uh, for, uh, beach ball here, and not for Till Panic. Till Panic might be safe for the next part, depending on what happens here. Funnily enough, if you play as another character, like say for example Dingodile, Tiny is an arena champion in this, in the Gold Relic Challenge. Which, oh, okay, those balls got stuck together. <laughs> That's kind of a strange glitch that happens every every now and again. I don't know if that only happens on this game, or whether it only, or whether it happens in other ones. Maybe it might happen in the other one. Oh my god, Cortex has so many of them. I'm doing pretty badly right now in terms of points. Shoot. Okay, Cortex is gone. Brio is almost always, always gone. Eh, uh, almost always gone. Eh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I think the game kind of was like, that was really bad grammar. There, you fail again. That's what you get for using bad grammar. I'm so sorry, game. I will use better grammar next time. Is that better? I promise. I'll use better grammar. As long as you go easy on me and the gold relics, do we have a deal? And it seems like they... oh, maybe not. I was going to say I had, they had a deal, but nope, the deal is not being fulfilled. Whoa, god, okay. It's very hard to keep up with all these balls here, especially once the magnet is gone. Oh, that was very fast reflexes there that I had of getting rid of that ball that Kuala Kong uh, fired off at me. But all I can say regarding the the ball who sticks levels is that you just need to have good reflexes, especially on the the relic challenges. They're essential because uh, trying to get them in the opponent's goals is hard enough. But good reflexes are key here because eventually they will let them in. It's just a matter of luck and persistence. 
Like I recently played or streamed a game last night, Undertale, that told me to stay determined and I'm going to keep that attitude when it comes to getting 200% in this game. So I'm going to stay determined as much as possible. Oh, okay. Okay, Qualcomm and I are the only ones left, right? Gonna gather all these. Oh, that was maybe a bad idea, because they're going really fast. Right, I have a bit of confidence that I'll win here. Uh, maybe not. No, maybe not. It's going down ever so slowly. Right, come on, just one. Any one of them. Anyone. No! Don't you dare. Yes, thank you. Oh. See, eventually they do give up, but it's just really a matter of persistence. Okay, I was getting ready to block that in case uh, they tried a fast one. So far, not very eventful at best. Where's the challenge? Come on. I want a challenge. They don't want to give me a challenge. That sucks. Oh, Kuala Kong. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. I spoke too soon there. He gave me a challenge. He's like, you want a challenge? You got it. <laughs> yeah, now they're really giving me a challenge. Maybe I really should learn to keep my big mouth shut sometimes. I knew that was uh, coming my direction there. Right. I had no choice but to let one in and save one of them. There's no way I'm going to save both of them there. Right, this is going to be extremely intense, this. Oh, why did that bounce back into my goal? God damn it. Right, Cortex needs to get some goals down. Oh my. Okay. All that backfired. I'm actually kind of glad about that, actually. Right, Koala Kong's down right, so it's me and Cortex with four left. Each. Oh, no. Not good at all. You've seen strategies of it before to beat him. And eventually he'll go down. Ah, he fireball into his own goal. That was stupid of him. I'm really nervous here. Please, please let in. No! Please let one in. Anyone. Please let anyone in. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Three relics in one video. That's pretty awesome. Do you know, I might just have enough time for the Till Panic, because Till Panic shouldn't take that long. Considering it's nowhere near as time consuming as Polar Panic is, I might just have enough time for that. But no, Beach Ball overall wasn't too difficult. I think I just got really lucky with Crash Ball. Right, let's go for this one. Can I manage to possibly get four relics? That's a bit of a stretch this one, but if I manage to get four relics in one video, that would be awesome. But I'm not expecting it. But Till Panic should be slightly easier than Polar Panic. Still the same opponents, Cortex didn't go down Coco, but we have no ice ice blocks blocking the edge, so this will be quicker. But I need to be very careful here on where I'm charging, because if I uh, charge at the wrong time here, then we will fall off. Well, Cortex is gone. Whoa. Okay, Cortex, uh, no, Cortex, Coco caught me by surprise there. <laughs> it's like we're play playing ping pong with Dingo Dow. Uh oh. Right, get away from Coco. Oh no! Crap! Okay, that was a really good strategy. No! <laughs> you bastards! Damn, I will admit that was quite clever. Okay. Oh, lightning, right, this is extremely important, I need to get this. Give me that lightning, Coco. I said give me the lightning. I don't want to be shocked here. No! Ah, that's why you need the lightning there. 
because if you don't get the lightning, then you will end up falling off immediately. Oh crap, right. Made the same mistake as I made in uh, Polar Panic. Charged myself off the edge. It's most likely going to happen an awful lot here. Ah. God damn it. Okay. Ah, no you don't. Okay, I'm surprised the Coco didn't get me off immediately there. I'm surprised that the game even gave me an opportunity to get back on the edge. Oh, shoot, okay, that was bad. Let them charge each other right, just Coco and I left. No! No, I won that. Give me that lightning. Thank you. Now get away from her. And see you bye. Haha. -ha. That's why this is going to be very easy with the lightning. Three, two, one, go. Right, and two. Hopefully I managed to get this first go, but I doubt it. Oh yeah, get away from her. Just do not charge on her. That would just be suicide if I did. Okay, do not charge myself off the edge. Let them go at no! Okay, Dingo that was off for some reason. I don't know how the hell he got pushed off. I don't know how I didn't. Oh, how ironic. Coco was big at the beginning, now she's tiny. She's not me. <laughs> like, literally tiny. Tiny Coco. Oh, wait. Okay. No! God, nah! Damn it, Cortex. He had to try a sneaky one there, didn't he? And he succeeded. Yeah, I will admit, the Polar Panic games I really hate in these Relic Challenges. Fuck! Because of that! Because of that, that's why I hate them. A lot of people hate the Crash Ball ones. I honestly think the Crash Ball ones are nowhere near as bad. I mean, yes, they are painful, don't get me wrong, but the Polar Panic ones, in my opinion, are much more painful than the the Crash Ball ones. Unpopular opinion, but that's how I feel. What does everyone else think? For those who play Crash Bash, what's the hardest challenges you've done for the relics? Oh, okay, Cortex tried that again, didn't he? And he failed. Haha. <laughs> no, you don't. Haha. <laughs> Charge away from him. There we go. No, you don't. Okay. Come on, Coco. I want you off that edge. Right, okay. I think this is my chance to win. She's not going to catch up with me on this. Summary in the champion you are, Coco. You aren't, you aren't even using... You aren't using your charge to catch up with me. Summary in the champion you are. And one of the best, she's going to push you off in two seconds. And after I said that... And thankfully she did not. Okay, I'm now big. I'm huge. Oh my god, Ray, I'd nearly push myself off to my own stupidity. Right, I need to be careful to not do that. Okay, I'm gonna let them charge themselves off. I'm not getting involved in that and that um, Oh my god! I said I wasn't going to get myself involved in any group fights, and what did I do? I get involved. And that cost me. God damn it. I'll go for a few more attempts at this, like three more fails, and I'm going to call it a video to be honest with you, and I'll save the this for another time. Right, that's mine. No! Right. Go that way. Yes. And they're gone. So I get three more fails, regardless how many ones I win or lose, or how many I win. Uh, three more fails, generally speaking, then uh, I'm ending the video. Okay, I thought that was going to be very interesting, that one there. Oh no, you don't. Okay, Coco nearly got me there. Oh, I thought I would have gotten Cortex there, I guess I didn't push him hard enough. Oh, 
Oh crap, okay, I need to stop doing that. Because that apparently gets me... Oh, really, why are they going big? Stop going big. Give, the light... Give us a lightning bolt. Make this a lot more interesting. Well, thank goodness Cortex pushed himself off there. Oh! No, he don't. Oh! No, you don't. Ha ha. Okay, I think I'm going to win this. There's no way you're going to catch up with me. Ha 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 ha. No! No, you don't. And I've won! Yes! Four gold relics in one video. I am very impressed. That was awesome. I'm actually really pleased with that. I got them all in, I got them in half an hour. <laughs> Unlike last time, it took me nearly an hour to get two of them. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to save that, and I think I'm going to call that a video, to be honest with you. Okay, good stuff, right. So now we've got um, four of them, now it's time to end the video off. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching everybody, this has been Let's Replay Crash Bash Part 17, and I managed to get four gold relics from uh, Poco Painter, Jungle Bash, Beach Ball, and Till Panic, which was very amazing. So next time I come back, I will be going to Poco Agogo as my first level, and then Space Bash and hopefully Desert Fox as well, depending on my, my luck and my skill levels that is in all those levels. So anyway, please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and feel free to hit the subscribe button for more videos coming up in the future. Be greatly appreciated. I um, hope you all stay safe out there wherever you are, and hope you all have a good day uh, or night wherever you are watching this as well. So see you all again soon enough, and I will see you again for more content. Till then, bye-bye.